Into Nothing was the second single we released for this album. It's kind of a different taste from End of All We Know, it's, which is what I really like about it. It's got that kind of slow, kind of marching feel, like pretty much the whole first half of the song. This came together when we were in Europe last year. We had a writing session in the Netherlands. Um, we had a couple of days off, and I remember like everyone was just doing their own thing, and Gunzi was kind of couldn't really hear what he was playing because he had his headphones on and then at one point he just takes off the headphones and hits play and lets us hear what he's been working on and it was that old opening riff for Into Nothing and everybody just lost their shit like that is that is an absolute tune uh, we knew it's, from that point we knew it was probably going to be it was going to be a lead single from the album and um, we didn't necessarily know it was going to be the second single but we all agreed that it would come out before the album came out just to again it just showed a new sort of a new tempo for us something that we've always wanted to do but never been confident in the material um, and this this came along and, and just delivered i can say knocked it out of the park with it into nothing was written during the summer last year when we had some days off uh, in between some festival shows we hired like a little lodge in the netherlands and had a few days just to kind of focus on writing and not have any distractions and that was one of the songs that came out then. I'd always wanted one of those slow, kind of stompy tempo songs, like for the live set, uh, because I think that just stands out so much. It was definitely written with the kind of live set in mind. The song is slow, the song is stompy, it's aggressive, it's in your face. The riff takes precedent, and it's kind of the main focus of the song for the first couple of minutes, you know. Um, and that was an idea that Gunzi had kicking around for quite a while and it was something that I know he had wanted to do for a while. He'd, he'd always talked about having this slow, some stompy song and um, a few of us talked about it when we when we heard his first version of the demo and we, we were saying that it's kind of like our sad but true. When Gunzi first sent the demo for Into Nothing, I had no idea what the hell I was going to do with that song. When, like, when it was just a demo, we called it our Sad But True, and I just had no idea if it was going to suit my voice. And I, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Because the whole song was kind of slow and stompy, and we wanted to pick it up towards the end, and uh, the idea of having a thrash solo just worked perfectly. It's cool how it just breaks up kind of towards the end with the kind of thrash riff and the, the solo and everything. The solo is absolutely class. It's, I think that's going to be like an absolute killer live, especially for fucking other European festivals. I think they'll, they'll really dig it. That's the one thing I love so much about our new album, it's so diverse. There is something in there for every type of metal fan. Like, I don't like to use subgenres, but there is something in there for everyone. I mean, that song was pretty much written for the live setting, you know, like, every time I hear that main riff kick in at the beginning of the song, I just think festival, I just think, you know, European summer festival stages, tens of thousands of people, and this slow riff, you know, just driving. Um, so I'm really excited to play that song live. Um, and I, I do like how the song lifts later later on and becomes faster, you know, we've got that circle pit moment. The combination of that sort of slow swagger from in the first sort of two minutes of the song, and then it drops out and you've got the thrash beat, then you've got solo, then you've got groove, and then the breakdown at the end, it's just got everything that you want to hear in a song. Everything I want to hear in a song anyway. Um, and this is another one that we cannot wait to play live, introduce to the, the live set. Um, I just, 
it's a proper festival tune for me. I can't wait to get this on the big stages. So.